the career uh, and maybe it should become about personal progress as opposed to collective social progress that comes with pros and cons I, I feel I do feel like South Africa is unfortunately reaping the harvest of a lot of us who shifted that way to suddenly let go of things too quickly and the social dimension of things but so I, I entered university uh, started studying law that didn't really work for me I moved to an English uh, literature degree and um, I still didn't really have a direction uh, right up until I was about uh, 24 25 I went to Brazil for a holiday teach English and kind of hang out um, that was a big turning point for me uh, personally and professionally, I noticed uh, I was living in Sao Paulo and I noticed, you know, everywhere it was like agencia de propaganda. And, you know, I noticed that there's so many ad agencies here. And I started thinking, this is a really big sector and it's creative. Uh, and it's people who work with language, which is what I loved. Um, so I started looking into it. <coughs> um, and when I came back to South Africa, I went to, uh, I joined an advertising school called the Red and Yellow School. And that was how I got in. I, I It was, uh, I didn't even know what, Carlos, I didn't even know what strategy was when I, I wanted to be a copywriter. Uh, but when I arrived at the Red and Yellow School, I discovered this thing called strategy. This, uh, this notion of, planning and structuring uh, thinking of creating direction for ideas and creativity uh, and of playing with culture. Uh, and I was really inspired by that. And well, from then I, I, I got a job at Ogilvy um, who were a sponsor of the school. I obviously had to work really hard and uh, my results were, were, were okay in the end. And, and I got in at Ogilvy uh as an intern and, and it's gone from there and i've been very lucky <coughs> since then to uh have good years at ogilvy then i moved to tbwa uh, both of those are really important agencies they were important they remain important families that i belong to still um to this day and I learned a lot. I, there were a lot of people who contributed and, and, and invested in me. Um, and we did great work in those teams um, and with those brands. Um, I eventually got to work on some great multi, I did a lot of work on the South African brand, a lot of public sector, private sector, which was good for me because it fed my, it kind of satisfied my desire to contribute something to society whilst also uh, progressing. Uh, so I'm very proud of the work we did for SABC, for Brand South Africa, for South African tourism. And then eventually I got a chance to work um, in Asia, in Singapore around 2008, uh, which was great on global uh, accounts and regional accounts, Visa, Standard Chartered Bank. But then timing of that, there was also the 2010 World Cup so I eventually came back to South Africa to work on MTN's World Cup campaign. So, <coughs> excuse me, I got a slight cough. Though it's not COVID, I've spoken to my, my doctor. Um, and um, yeah, we, we did the Ayoba campaign. And shortly after that, I consulted around, uh, worked uh, also freelance consulting. And we met shortly after that in 2013, 14, around 2014, I think it was, um, when we were looking at Standard Bank brand together. Um, and yeah, since then, I, I've always kind of kept moving and doing things and changing uh, from brand and creative strategy into more digital um, and social and data-driven uh, strategy strategy and 
of course with that comes more more time in leadership um so that's more or less how how i how i got here um as part of a a team that wpp uh headhunted us to kind of come here and start a social um and content unit for british american tobacco um using a range of wpp agencies and and i've been here since uh, may 2019 um and it's been a good really amazing market japan amazing culture great food um challenging work environment um uh, lots of good things one thing i want to ask you is because i've never been to japan or to to asia eh, as a continent either uh what are the main differences uh, differences in, in the advertisement uh, environment in from south africa and africa as a continent to japan or asia yeah. what can you tell me about that i yeah I, you know first thing carlos is and you know this uh, we all, we have this conversation every time we talk about africa like it's one place you know uh well it is but obviously hugely diverse uh is difficult to talk about the continent collectively um and asia similarly but looking taking a step back there are some things that one can point at the first thing is that Asia is very risk averse. Um clients, people, the culture here is very cautious uh in terms of how it approaches risk, how it approaches um creating ideas and and and